friends welcome or welcome back to my channel i am regina monique and this is woman of your word and on this channel i share faith-based content to help empower you and me to live courageously for god so of course i am back with another bible journaling video and today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different so you know while i love creating art I don't really have the skill of drawing <laughs> and I've been so inspired by God's word to create art that will help me connect with his word. But sometimes my imagination is a little bit more than I feel like I can manifest naturally. So um, I'm going to do the next best, best thing, which is tracing. And today um i'm going to be doing this by using carbon paper um, because the image that i'm going to be tracing which you can see here is kind of hard to just see behind the bible page and so to help me transfer the image i'm going to use um, for this bible journaling video i'm going to uh, use this embossing stylus um, these come in a variety of different sizes um, and of course you know I'll link all the products that I use in this video down in the description box below so I sped this part up because it took a really really long time to trace it well not that long but it took it took a little minute um, and so what I should have done um, when I was tracing this with the embossing styles was I should have actually outlined each um, one of those different I guess thorn stick things um, I should have outlined each one of those in different colors so that I would know which part I had completed because I had to lift it up quite a few times to see what I had actually gone over and what I hadn't gone over um, so that's what kind of made it take a little while but it's cool I got them all eventually and um, now would be a good time to tell you about the verse that I'm actually working on today. Um, it's John chapter 18, where Jesus is before Pilate and he is being questioned about being king of the Jews. And Pilate um, says to Jesus, your own nation and people have turned you over. And Jesus responds, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would have been fighting to prevent my arrest. And he says that his kingdom is from another place. And I chose this image for this passage because Jesus was mocked for being a king. And they placed a the crown of thorns on his head. Um, Jesus was indeed the king of kings, but he was not a king of the world and the evil that is in this world he was the king that was to come and save this world people couldn't stand Jesus um, because he spoke with authority you know Jesus says this is why I was born and came into the world to testify the truth and they were afraid of Jesus you know they hated him for the truth that he spoke they humiliated him and they sought to get rid of him they crowned him and beat him and hung his body, nailed him to a cross and hung him and put him on display. When I reflect on this verse, I also think about how, you know, the Bible also says that thy kingdom will come and thy will be done. And, you know, while it's, it's hard sometimes to think about what Jesus suffered and it's hard you know, to think about that he was humiliated and that they placed a crown of thorns on his head as, you know, to mock him. It also, you know, gives me a lot of hope that Jesus did exactly what God's will was, you know, like God's will was done and his kingdom will come. And that gives me hope because Jesus wore a crown of thorns. He endured everything, every pain you know, he suffered so much, um, just humiliation and, you know, death on a cross, you know, so that I might wear a crown of life. What a great picture of love.
And I'm so grateful to be a part of his kingdom. Like, he died for me. He suffered for me so that I could be a part of his kingdom. And so, yeah, while, you know, we can look at this and feel, you know, sorrow and feel um, just a lot of sympathy and maybe even some empathy for Jesus and what he suffered, because we suffer too, you know, um, here on earth. But when I look at this crown of thorns, you know, I can feel sad, but then I can also feel very hopeful and um, very encouraged even because, yes, he is my king. Yes, he is my savior. And I am a part of his kingdom. You know, I have been saved because of what he endured because of the humiliation, because he took a stand, because he spoke the truth. So I'm not really going to do too much um, chit chatting in this video today, um, as I really just want you guys to just um, reflect on this image and really think about, you know, what it means to you, what it means um, to have Jesus be your savior and your king.
Alright friends, well thank you guys so much for watching another Bible Journey with me video. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more like it in the future, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Um, and if you have not already done so, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the tribe, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any upcoming videos in the future. I love y'all. Bye.